Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's take a look again in your currency and try to find some activity on the market, right? And Christmas is Eve, so it's difficult to do because markets, investors and all people are preparing for the holidays, thinking about the family, so I would also wish you a happy and prosperous year, Merry Christmas and spend your time in your lovely warm atmosphere with your family, dedicate your time to your uh, close ones and it's really it's priceless time and markets will ever uh, will be still here after the holidays so it's really family time and spend its time with your uh, dear people so uh, on your as you can see recently the bounce has happened up from the confidence support but definitely it brings nothing really interesting to the overall situation so now a weekly report we explain why this level is very important for the market because it really will be indicator of the bullishness. So the real normal bullish market here should find the support, should hold it and turn to the upper direction again. Because we stand at this ABCD pattern, market has hit just the COP target, this minor extension is normal reaction after extension, but drop to the 30% support and confidence support should be enough uh, to hold this retracement. If this will not happen, and market will continue to drop down, well, that will be bad sign because on this upper direction depends the situation that we see as on the weekly chart because market should form a bullish reversal pattern on the weekly chart to confirm and to follow the idea of the possible reversal on the euro currency. If this will not happen, uh, it's the bullish scenario that we have discussed as on the monthly chart with the reversal action right from here as on the weekly chart with the possible reverse head and shoulders probably will be under question and chance on its failure will increase and all this stuff depends on just minor uh, level that stands on the daily chart that's why it's really very crucial to see what will happen here currently after this drop you can see this market from minor pullback here well, maybe this is just the thin, due to the thin market that nobody stands on market right now. Um, this also could be the reason. So we'll see what will happen after the holidays. But in general, currently, we do not see something really, some behavior that could tell us that market indeed is reversing up. So in the four hour time frame chart, you could see drop in this minor pullback here. Trend has turned bullish, but the price action stands very, very slow. Uh, if you remember on the week, week, weekly report, we talked about the similarity of these two price actions here and here. This have the same skewed upper retracement, extended upper retracement, and both of them has not reached the XOP. And last time market hasn't reached the XOP, ignored it and turned to the upper direction. And here, as it has hit major support on the daily, we said, well, uh, maybe it will hit XOP, maybe not, but uh, we should be ready for a possible bullish reversal passion here as well market could follow to the upside right from the confidence ignoring the XOP it could happen despite that we see here is strong sell-off that has happened last week so as a rule usually if this happens market just breaks through the OP uh, usually market reached the most of the XOP but who knows what will happen uh, at least we will keep now our eyes open and keep watching for bullish patterns if we will get clear bullish reversal pattern here we could try to take the position if not in this case we will be watching for reaching of the XOP target so logic is very simple on the hourly chart guys indeed as you can see the upper bounce stands really very gradual and slow a kind of the minor ABCD pattern is forming so this AB equals CD is completed market hits the OP I'm not excluding the fact and chance that market could reach the XOP as well because take a look CD action is fast and faster than an AB and in such circumstances very often after some minor pullback market uh, tending to hit the XOP as well. XOP it will be resistance and take a look as one level area 
XOP creates an agreement 111 FIB level. Also, this is natural, as you can see, for support resistance areas. So previously, it was the support. This market has broken it down. Now it will be resistance. So uh, that's potentially the point from which market probably will show deeper retracement. So if you would like to take the short position, well, I'm not sure that you will do it just today, but still that will be not bad area for thinking about the scalp short because uh, at least the minor bounce, 30% pullback here probably will happen. So that's what we'll see in general uh, on your currency right now. As you can see, only some minor tactical steps are forming while we are waiting what will happen in the general around this major support. So here we need the clarity whether the market will form some bullish pattern or it will just drop to the XOP and next we'll decide what to do, what to do next. Well, theoretically, we could suggest that probably market could hit the XOP, it will be, well, even 1618 extension. It's not enough till the XOP. So we will see. Currently, guys, we should not go, we should not take any long position by far because we do not see any good response to the strong support area. And one thing that we could talk currently is just scalp short position that could be taken from the approximately around 111.07 area. So that's what we have on the euro today.